Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a quick little explanation on something because I got called out by a viewer. So, stick around for the video and I'll see you there. All right, so I got called out about 20 volt tools uh, for DeWalt. So, now, in my last video, I did not mention about the explanation on the 60-volt battery. I did not mention that the to not just this back piece on the 20-volt tools is flat, but the 20-volt tools have four prongs. The guy that called me out said that the 60-volt tools technically have uh, five prongs. Well, if you look at a 60-volt tool, because this is... The flex volt grinder it's got one two three four five six prongs not five it's got six so technically it's got two more prongs than the 20 volt side on top of having the tangs in the back because he's stating i'm wrong and that youtuber is called mr subaru 1387 and you could you can look on that dewalt video about the the information he gave and my personal opinion if you're going to call me out and you're going to state i'm wrong and i didn't point certain things out then maybe he should make a video and prove me wrong because i'm looking at a 20 volt tool right here made by dewalt it's the dcb 090 12 volt max and 20 volt max usb power source input 8 volt to 22 volt output 5 volt dc to 1.5 amp. Now, this has old school USB ports on it. It doesn't have the high speed uh, 3.0 blue ports, and it doesn't have the high speed uh, green ports, which is the, the quick charge IQ 3.0 ports, which are green. It has the original old school 1.0 also known as the 2.0, it could be, which I haven't taken it apart, I haven't looked, so I could be wrong. It could be a 2.0 port, or they could be 1.0 ports. Anyways, if you look at it, it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pins. So, if in his comment he's stating that technically it's the extra pin on the 60 volt tools that shorts out the circuit inside the, the tool that allows it to switch to 60 volt side of the battery. And that the 60 volt batteries has nothing to do with the two switch prongs on the back. But if you actually look at the battery, if you correlate the two extra prongs on the 60 volt tool and the those prongs that go into the, the eight set of prongs on the back of the battery, and then you push these two switches in, it should activate the 60 volt side. So technically, the funny thing is, is all the information I got that I did on my last video was actually straight from DeWalt. And this guy's calling me out, saying that my information's wrong. Well, if my information is wrong, in my opinion, I think he should honestly make a video because all of his videos are technically about a Subarus, not tools, Subarus. So I'm gonna upload this video. You know, I hope all my normal subscribers um, don't mind that I, I'm calling somebody out. I'm not trying to be rude or mean or anything like that. I just. You're going to call me out. The least he could have done was actually, I don't know, done his research. Because technically, not all six, uh, 20 volt tools, technically, not all of them have four prongs. Some of them actually have eight prongs. If I get some light in here. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, funny thing is, is this little charger... USB charger shouldn't even be capable of, of switching to the the 60 volt side. And the reason I know that it's not capable because the back is flat 
and it doesn't have those two large tangs that actually push the switch on the back of the 60 volt uh, batteries. So for anybody that wants to call me out, by all means, if I'm wrong, not a big deal. I'll admit if I'm wrong, but don't call me out and have no facts to back up your statement. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon if you want to see future videos. And um, check out the Amazon affiliate links. And, you know, if anybody wants to prove me wrong, by all means, go for it. I'm only on YouTube to help people. And, you know, I, I even stated it in, in, the, in my other DeWalt video. If he wants to call me out, post a video. Post a video, put a, a link on, on my video showing the, the correct information. If, if you're going to state I'm wrong, show me that I'm wrong. Take the tool apart. Take one of the batteries apart. Take a 5 amp hour 20 volt battery apart and take a, a, a 20 volt 60 volt battery apart. Prove your theory. But anyways, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.